Today's social media segment is brought to you by South Louisiana Bank. It's better when we bank together. Weights and Downer, attorneys at law. Terrebonne Ford, built Ford Tough. Hello and welcome to the local Lafouche. My name is Cody Gray, President and CEO of Louisiana's Cajun Bayou Tourism, the Tourist Commission for Lafouche Parish. Thanks for joining us here on a new episode of the local Lafouche, where each month we'll take you up and down our beautiful bayou to show you more of the unique and exciting things that are happening in your own backyard. So let's start today with what's new in Louisiana's Cajun Bayou. Uh, one of the top visitor attractions, of course, to our parish is without a doubt, the food. Our culinary scene is very diverse and invites visitors to wander off the eaten path. However, a new restaurant recently opened in Thibodeau that promises to be a whole vibe. Yes, Cajun Kid Burgers and Wings is so much more than the delicious burgers and wings that they serve. Don't just take my word for it, though. Here joining me is <laughs> Chef Dell, owner of Cajun yes. Kid, to tell us more about his story and their restaurant. Thanks for being here. Oh, thanks for having me. It's a blessing to be here. Absolutely. Yes. So tell us a little bit about, I mean, I, I know we've talked before, your mm -hmm. story is really cool. Yeah. And the, and the idea and the inspiration behind your restaurant mm -hmm. is really neat. So tell us a little bit about mm -hmm. you, Chef Dell, mm -hmm. and also about the inspiration behind your new restaurant. Okay. Well, um, well, my name is Cardell Smith. Mm -hmm. um, I'm the chef and owner and the founder of Cajun Kid Burgers and Wings in Thibodeau. Um, man, so starting out, uh, I went to culinary school in New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, graduated 2016 from Delgado Community College. And uh, man, from there, my life has just been on the up and just up and going. Uh, from there, I went to, um, I worked at the Ritz Carlton in New Orleans mm -hmm. for like uh, like four years in New Orleans. And then I transferred to the Ritz Carlton in Georgia oh, for wow. three years. Yeah. Okay. And um, I was there uh, for about three years. And then I left from there and went to the University of Alabama, the sous chef over there. Mm -hmm. And from there, I came on uh, Food Network. A TV show, um, Cooks vs. Cons, and then from there I started my own business, and uh, from there we just been on a rise. <laughs> and so you came back to Thibodeau. Yes. And yes. yeah, tell us a little bit about. I know that community is a, is a big part of your restaurant. Yes. And so I know that being in Thibodeau is something that that is like very near and dear to you. Yes. And so tell us a little bit about why'd you come back to Thibodeau and open this really great restaurant? Man, um, people don't know I was uh, born in Thibodeau. Mm -hmm. um, and then I was uh, I was raised in La Plaza, Louisiana, with the school, high school in, uh, in New Orleans, a college in New Orleans. But but Thibodeau just means a whole lot because uh, my family, most of my family's out here mm -hmm. as well. And the family's like a big part of just the vibe in the restaurant. So when you come in there, I got pictures on the wall of the family and, uh, you know, families in the kitchen serving as well. My nieces and all of them helped me out. So it's amazing it is it's really cool i mean yes. I, i've personally been there to eat it's i mean the burgers are Come huge on. the wings are huge <laughs> I mean, you will not leave. If you left there hungry, you did right. something wrong. Right. Come on. All right. Did, All right. That's true. <laughs> That's so, true. I know recently y'all have been, y'all have an amazing social media presence. Yes. And lately you've been posting about something new. Like I, I see there's some brunch items. Yeah, now. man. So I know that y'all are so much more than just burgers and wings. Yes. So tell us a little bit about the culinary experiences people can have at your restaurant. Yeah. When you come there, just uh, don't think of us as just an average burgers and wing place because we're just different than what the normal is. You are. Um, so, and with that being said, yes, we on Sundays, we have Sunday brunch from uh, 10 a.m. to 4. Okay. And uh, from the brunch menu, you can find a whole this variety of things that like we have a uh, chantilly french toast and um a oh. louisiana shrimp uh i'm oh, sorry a louisiana um seafood omelet mm. uh that's just out this game is just amazing oh that sounds good. yeah man oh, yeah so brunch is like always a vibe and then do y'all still do like the cheesecake of the week or y'all were doing i think some promotions with that at one time is that yeah still yeah yeah we, we still do cheesecakes of the week uh sometimes we'll ch uh, switch over to like bread puddings now yeah so now we do different kind of bread puddings that like we just had a banana um a banana pudding bread pudding oh my and gosh. man it was just the best thing ever i think i was gonna say <laughs> i think there was somebody in our office before i left talking about they're like oh ask him about the bread pudding. <laughs> come on man you know, yeah it was such a good uh, such a great menu item and okay look, I, I i've heard nothing but rave reviews i know every time that i drive past that restaurant it mm -hmm. always seems there's a line out the door yeah man yeah yeah and i think you know we're starting to to uh 
you know, outgrow the restaurant, which is a mm -hmm. blessing, is a good thing. That's right. We've been open since um, April 28th of last year. So we're about to come up on our first year. Wow, coming I can't up. Yeah, already a year. Uh, already a year, man. Wow. So, um, so we have a lot of good things in the works that's coming along. Um, we're looking for our second location, to be honest. Okay. So uh, we have some eyes out on that coming up pretty soon. Excellent. It'll yeah. Be, I'm assuming that second location will be here locally somewhere. It's going to be locally, yeah. Okay, good. I can't give out too much information on that, but it's going to be Okay. <laughs> we, we, we won't ask. But gotcha, as I gotcha. As, as long as it's here locally that's good yes yes that's sir good. yes it is so i mean tell me what is one of the most i guess popular menu items that y'all have that are most requested that's <sighs> hard right I um i think the most popular menu item that we have is the young money burger okay because that's the that's the burger we actually start off with um like i said i, I started out in my mother's backyard so I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. With one fryer, one flat top, and that's how I started out. And that was the first burger I ever started out with. Wow. And from there, that burger, uh, I had a, I had a poll on Facebook um, not too long ago, and to guess how many Young Money combos we sold, uh -huh. and it was like two thousand five hundred something in the one year. Oh my God. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's, that's, that's great. great. <laughs> no, it's what well, we love to see. You know, like it yes. is. That's one of our top visitor attractions is our food. Yes. Right? And and how you can really experience our culture is through our food. Yes. And so there's such a diverse array of restaurants from mm -hmm. Thibodeau all the way down to Golden Meta. Yes. And we're very, very happy that you are one of those restaurants. So if people want to learn more about Cajun Kid, mm -hmm. want to visit you in person, uh, or learn more about you, follow along with social media, tell us how they can do that. Yes, our social media, um, so all our social media is the same from uh, Instagram to Twitter okay. to Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, it's Cajun Kid BW. Okay. Yes, that's Cajun Kid BW on uh, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Beautiful. And yes. where are you located in Thibodeau? Uh, we're located at 710 St. Mary Street. Okay. Um, right across the street from the daiquiri shop. Excellent. Yes. Chef Dell, thank you so much. Thank for you so here much, today. man. I appreciate we you. We appreciate it. Wish you yes. much continued success and congrats on one year. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. Absolutely. Yes, sir. And we'll be right back with the, another segment of the local Lafouche. A social media segment is brought to you by Terrebonne General Health System. Your health is our legacy. Rouse's, you're either local or you're not. Buick, the craft of modern luxury. St. Martin and Bork, know your rights. Welcome back to the local Lafouche. Well, the spring festival and event season is well underway in Louisiana's Cajun Bayou, with events taking place from Thibodeau all the way down to Golden Meta. However, there are two large annual events coming up this month and next month, which support great causes in our community, but also showcase our food, our culture, and our music. Joining me here today is Mr. Armand Autain with La Fête du Mont, which is coming up in April, and Mr. Jimmy Ledet with the Thibodeau Fireman's Fair coming up in May. Thank you both for being here. Glad Thank you very here. much. Absolutely. So I can't believe we're already at this again. It yes, feels sir. like we just had these, but here we are. <laughs> yes, uh, sir. We're happy to see them back again this year. These are two huge events. So, Mr. Armand, we're going to start with you with La Fête du Mont. Tell us a little bit about the rundown this year, what people can expect. I know it's going to be at, uh, it's actually at the, the visitor center grounds there in Raceland where the Lafouche Pavilion is. So tell us a little bit about your festival coming up. That's right. Just off uh, by Lafouche at the intersection of Highway 90 and Highway 1 in Lafouche Parish, uh, we have La Fête du Mont, which is a Lockport Food Festival. It's going to be April 19th, 20th, and 21st. Okay. Uh, this festival is, we're over 25 years old. Um, it's a festival that's a spinoff from when the Catholic uh, uh, system kind of had all the fairs and festivals in the area and we just continued it um, typical Bayou uh, festival great Cajun food uh, amusement rides for the kids mm -hmm. and lots and lots of free music um, so we are if uh, we are a festival without any gate fee um, people that come out to support us are supporting uh, five different nonprofit organizations so everything they spend goes right back in the community that being Lockport Volunteer Fire Department, Knights of Columbus 3054, mm -hmm. Rotary Club of Lockport, the Lafouche Folklife and Heritage Museum as well as the Lockport Carnival Club so everything that someone comes out and spends goes right back into um, 
into the community. That's great. Um, I will say that this year we are starting a, a, a children's pageant. Uh, Lafette Des Moines is going to be this Saturday, April 13th at 11 a.m. at the Lockport uh, Fire Department. Okay. Uh, we also are going to have this year, we're going to have a cornhole tournament um, on the Saturday, April 20th, with registration at 1030 and bags flying at 11. A uh, quick rundown of our music will be uh, Friday, 6 p.m. We have Epic, and we have an auction, 9 p.m., Kings of Neon. Saturday morning, uh, 10.30, Patula, 1.30, we have Freddie Roderick and the One Man Band. At 5 p.m., we have Shorts in December. We have another auction, and at 9 p.m., we close uh, Saturday night with Contraflow. Once again, that Saturday, it's all uh, no gate fee. You come in free. Beautiful. Come sit, listen to whatever music you want. On Sunday, we start at 9 a.m. with a, a mass. Uh, 10.30 a.m., Ted Deer, another auction, and 3 p.m., the J.P. Bourgeois Band. Um, anyone wants any information from us, uh, they can reach us at uh, La Fête du Mont on Facebook. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I can tell you we'll have lots and lots of Cajun food, uh, from beignets to cracklings, uh, you know, all the different seafood, seafood platters, pool boys. Anything you could dream up or think about uh, when it comes to Cajun food, we'll have it available at the festival. No, it's great. I, the food is always a highlight for me there. I, uh, I usually take a lot of to go, so I don't have to cook that week. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's a great event. We're happy to see it back there again. Um, we, of course, pray for good weather, but that's a great band lineup too. So a lot of good stuff. Of course, we tell everybody to bring the chairs early so you can get a, get a good spot. That's right. So that's, that's good. Right. So, Mr. Jimmy, tell us a little bit about, I know, Tibbetta Fireman's Fair. It's one of the largest volunteer fire departments in the country, also one of the biggest fireman's fairs in the country. Tell us a little bit about the fireman's fair, what people can expect this year. I know you all got some really cool bands coming as well. Yes, thanks, Cody. Sure. That's Thursday, May 2nd through Sunday, May 5th. Uh, the fairgrounds in Thibodeau at the corner of Tiger Drive and Parish Road, out by, in the area of Thibodeau High School. Best thing you can do is check out www.firemansfair.com. And just like Armand, our volunteer Fireman's Fair is free admission. Best shows around, best music around. Our two headliners on uh, Friday night is for country music people is Travis Denning. Uh, up and coming, uh, tra uh, Travis is up and coming in the country uh, arena. And Saturday night, the rock world goes with Puddle of Mud. That's right. Uh, for those kinds of musics. And of course, Sunday is always our, our swamp pop kind of Zydeco kind of music. Mm -hmm. We feature in this year a new stage and a new sound system. Uh, unlike uh, what you've seen in the past at the Fireman's Fair, it'll be quite different, quite better. Okay. Uh, please come out and check out the new improved sound system. We're also improving the whole family experience at the fair. Uh, we're bringing in some scanners. So as you walk through the scanners, you'll be able to get in the fair much, much faster, oh, okay. uh, rather than going through some of the other experiences we've had. And with that, we believe it'll bring a much more secure family experience for anyone that comes out. Of course, food, yes. 20,000 fair burgers wow. will get cooked <laughs> over the four days. Wow. Uh, but crawfish pie, shrimp stew, all kinds of different things to eat. Rides, we have pay one price, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And the mega pass, mega pass, Cody, you can buy a band for your kid and turn them loose for all four days. Wow. Pretty impressive. That is. The uh, roller coaster's coming back. I know it's been a big attraction oh, good. Okay. Uh, for the, for the uh, young people. Who the auction? Five to 600 items throughout the, uh, the time of Saturday night and Sunday after the parade. The auction itself is an event. It Bes is. Besides the fair. Yeah, it really is. Uh, it's an experience. And, of course, you can't forget about your raffle tickets. Absolutely. Uh, the picture's up on the screen now. We have a $15,000 raffle. That's Sunday night. Uh, last thing of the fair. We have a 5K run and walk on Saturday morning. Uh, you can register on the website for that. Mm -hmm. uh, and talk about our parade, of course, the parade, Sunday at 11 a.m. Um, it'll be led by our Grand Marshal, Grady Gobert, local businessman from Thibodeau. Uh, and this year, we're starting our 150-year celebration. The fair will kick off that that uh, that celebration for the next year. That's amazing. And we've always been so supportive for all the community uh, and the way they help um, support us at the fair and, and help us to buy all of our equipment and do our training. Abs so absolutely. It's uh, always a great event. Come out first weekend of May. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much for both of you being here, Mr. Jimmy, Mr. Almond. We look forward to both of these great events coming up. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. And we'll be right back with our final segment of the local LaFouche. Today's social media segment is brought to you by 
Alford and Associates for all of your insurance needs. CIS, Cardiovascular Institute of the South, the highest quality cardiovascular care available. Barker Honda, the Barker family tradition of quality. Welcome back to our final segment today. Small businesses are at the heart of most every community, and visitors and residents alike love to shop local for unique items that you just can't find at big box retailers. However, it's important to realize that many of these business owners, they invest all of their time, their resources into the communities that they serve. They work very long hours and a lot of time don't get the recognition they deserve, which is why it is so important that we support our local mom and pop shops. So recently, a it's not necessarily a new business, but a newer storefront in downtown Thibodeau recently opened. And this new storefront creates some really custom, unique items and has a really cool story to share about their business. So we're excited to have with us today, Miss Abby Rockefort with Gumbo Weather, the owner of Gumbo Weather, uh, recently opened in downtown Thibodeau. Thank you so much for joining. Ah, yes. Absolutely. So. I know that you know you and I have talked quite a bit and 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 we've been able to see it's really cool seeing your business grow into what it is now. I know it originally started online. So tell us a little bit about how Gumbo Weather kind of came to be and the inspiration behind it. Yes, yeah, so it started during 2020 mm -hmm. um during COVID. During COVID, <laughs> yes. And I pretty much was shut down from my job that I was doing. Mm -hmm. I was a graphic designer and I had a lot of free time. Um, I just wanted to get outside and start messing around with the wood products and mm -hmm. all this stuff. So I started making charcuterie boards and getting creative with that. And I wanted to engrave on them as well because mm -hmm. I thought it was a great way to customize it, something different, unique, and personalized. Absolutely. So one thing led to another and I just kind of created the whole aspect of the business and how I would brand it. Um, mm -hmm. The word gumbo weather is written in my grandmother's handwriting. Um, oh, wow. She was a chef. Well, I say chef, but she had a catering business for like 35 years. Wow. And uh, so it was just so iconic and everybody was home during COVID spending more time with family kind of. Sure. And it just all came to be as an idea and I started doing a market and a few other vendor events and that's amazing. It blossomed. That's so cool. I mean, I remember right when you first started uh, and during COVID and I went, my gosh, what a, you know, like what a time to try and open a business or start something. But it's also where, you know, out of the bad comes the good. And yes. so a lot of people looked internally and started these kind of like sideline hustles, sort of, so to speak, that turned into these businesses. And so now here you are, you just opened up a beautiful storefront in downtown Thibodeau. It's an awesome shop. Thank you. Um, tell us a little bit about, I know you brought some of the items today, just kind of a showcase. This is, and I stress this to everyone watching, this is a very small sample of the really cool work that y'all do in that store. So tell us a little bit about what you brought today and what people can find at your store. Yeah, so what I brought today is this one of the first pieces that I created. This is an antique cypress charcuterie board. Oh, wow. um, it was sourced from somewhere, I would say, Ascension Parish. Okay. Um, we have a bunch of it. And so these are made to order. They mm -hmm. can be customized. You can get them laser engraved. And they're also numbered, so you will get a special edition of however many that we can make okay. um, also. And we have other woods types that we can make into custom okay. charcuterie boards, cutting boards, anything that you would need. Um, you could put business logos on them as well. Nice. And another thing that has really blossomed at the shop is custom maps mm -hmm. and uh, laser engraving the maps on wood, uh, glassware, cups, whatever you'd like, but these can be made into different shapes, sizes, colors, anything that you'd wish. Um, we can customize coordinates. 
Um, That's amazing. And, yeah. I was going to say, I've seen a lot of those maps. and I, I know we're showing a few on screen right now. Those are just a sample. You can do large ones, small ones. And I, I know I've seen you around at different, even craft shows and so forth, where those maps are always so popular. I remember when you just started with just one map and now it's so like New Orleans. And now you've got Homa, Thibodeau, Lafouche, you've moved into parishes. Yes. Um, it's really cool to see uh, what y'all have done. And then like the glassware, even Christmas ornaments. Yes. Like I know I've even purchased some of those myself. They're so cool. They're very unique. And of course you can have those personalized as well. Correct. Awesome. Yes. So tell us a little bit about I know you, you're now much more than just a store, right? You've expanded into actually having classes that anybody can attend. Tell us a little bit about these charcuterie wine pairing classes. Like what's, what's going on here? Yeah. So I was having dinner and drinks with a friend and I'm really passionate about wine. I'm certified in WSET, which is wine, spirits and education trust. Wonderful. So that was just a hobby of mine. And this friend used to be a cheesemonger. <laughs> and so we thought it was the perfect pair to start doing classes. Yeah. So you can come in, you can build your own charcuterie board class. We have cheese tastings that are paired with wine. Um, and we also have a cheese and honey tasting coming up this ah, Thursday. So wonderful. it's growing in it. We do it leisurely. It's not something that's steady every month or every week. That's just a, yet. That is a great, well, that's great. That's a good date night or a good girls outing or just a group of friends that just wanted to go out and do something different for a change. Yes. That's, that's awesome. So if people want to find out more about the classes, about your store, where can they go to find out more? You can find out everything on our website, www.gumboweather.shop. Um, you can look us up on Instagram, Facebook, Okay. And you can also sign up for updates uh, through email Okay. Beautiful. if you're not on social media. so Perfect. Well, Abby, thanks so much for taking the time joining us here today. Thanks for bringing some of your great items. And we look forward to your continued success in downtown Thibodeau. Thank you so much. Absolutely. And that's a wrap for today's show. We appreciate you tuning in. We encourage you to go to lakajambayou.com or follow along on our social media channels at lakajambayou to learn more about all of the upcoming events and things to see and do in Lafouche Parish. From all of us at Louisiana's Cajun Bayou Tourism, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you back here again next month for a new episode of The Local Lafouche.